Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome. I was doing some shopping at Farmers yesterday, and I noticed that my Farmers has just started stocking Essence makeup. Now, I was really, really excited about that because Essence is such a cheap makeup brand, so I bought a bunch of different things, and I thought that today I would haul them for you, and as well as just hauling them, I thought that I would put them on and kind of do a first impressions on some of them for you as well. So this is my little bag with all of my products in it, and I do have most of the products that I need, but not completely everything. So anything that I don't have, for example, I didn't get any brow products, I'll just use something from a different brand instead. So firstly, I have a foundation, of course. This is what it looks like. This is the Essence All About Matte Oil Free Makeup, and I have this in the shade 05 Matte Vanilla. Now I'm not completely sure about this one because it is matte and I have normal to dry skin and this is probably intended for more normal to oily skin so I'm not sure how this is going to work for me but my skin isn't feeling too dry at the moment. I don't really have any dry patches so hopefully this will be fine. And I hope the shade of this is okay as well because I actually wanted to get the other type of foundation that they had but it only went down to number 10 and it looks too dark for me so I'm hoping that number 5 will be okay. And I'm going to apply this with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush today. I might just apply this straight onto my face. So this foundation blends like an absolute dream. It went on so easily. Um, I think the color match is pretty good, like it might be slightly dark, but I don't think it's too noticeable at all. With one layer, I would say that this is a light coverage and it looks really nice and natural, which is actually exactly what I look for in a foundation, so I'm quite happy with this so far. And I'll actually just give you the prices of each product as I'm going. Um, keep in mind that these are New Zealand dollars, so it will sound like more than it is if you're from UK or US. So this foundation was $7.90. So now that I've let the foundation sink in a little bit, the finish looks matte, but it doesn't feel drying at all. It honestly feels so lightweight at all, like I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation whatsoever. It feels a little bit like a moisturizer to the touch, and I think it looks really, really natural and beautiful. So I didn't purchase a concealer or a powder from Essence, so I've just gone ahead and applied those off camera. So they're on now, and I'm going to move on to the next thing from Essence, which is the I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I actually thought I heard someone say it was being discontinued, but um, obviously not because it's still in Farmers and it's like new there, so I don't think it's being discontinued. So this one says it's an eyeshadow base for a long-lasting eye makeup result ready for stage. So I'm going to put that on now and see how it goes. So obviously I have to wait and see what my eyeshadow looks like when I put it on and whether or not it creases through the day to decide how I feel about this product. But right now I'm impressed because it has covered all the veins that kind of show through on my eyelids. So I'm really happy about that because obviously that's kind of ugly. And that eyeshadow base cost $5.65. So for eyeshadow I have this one here which is in the color 20 Rosy Happiness. And it just kind of looks like a really neutral color. I wasn't sure what color to go for because I didn't want to get a really bold one that then, you know, if it didn't blend very nicely, then I wouldn't use it ever. So hopefully with a neutral color, even if the quality isn't great, I can still get a bit of use out of it. But I guess we are about to find out. So I'm actually really happy with this eyeshadow. It's not too intense, so obviously it's not going to show up a huge amount on camera, but it's a really nice sort of dusty mauve kind of pink color. And I think it looks quite natural while still giving my eyes a little bit of something. So I'll just give you a bit of a close up now. So hopefully you could kind of see the color from that. Um, I would say this has got a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's not glittery or anything like that. And I think it's a really nice everyday sort of neutral color. And that eyeshadow was $3.60. So for eyeliners, I actually bought two, and obviously I can't use both of them today, but these are both the long-lasting eye pencils, and I got one in a silver color. This is number 5, C'est la Vie, and the other one that I got is a kind of bronzy color, and this is number 19, Hot Scorch. And these cost $3.35 each, and I think I'm going to use the bronze color today. 
So these just come in a wind-up pencil form, which is great because you don't have to sharpen them at all. So again, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but in person I think this is a really nice eyeliner colour. I tend to go for browns rather than blacks because they're a little bit softer and this bronzy colour is actually gorgeous. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it so it's not just a flat brown colour. And I feel like this would be perfect for spring and summer even though I'm heading into autumn and winter right now. But for those of you going into spring right now, I definitely recommend this one. Although I am going to have to wait and see how long it lasts through the day as well. But I'm just going to give you a quick swatch of both of these eyeliner colours on my hand so you can kind of see what the colours look like. So that is the bronzy one there. As you can see it's got a little bit of shimmer in it when I turn it into the light. And that's the silver one next to it, which is quite a metallic colour, and they're both really, really creamy. They glide on really easily, and they feel, like, really soft when you apply them. So far, I'm really happy with the quality of these. Next for mascara, I picked up this one here, which is the I Love Extreme Volume Mascara, and this one cost me $6.30. Whoa. So, this is the brush. This is massive. So this is how it looks with the mascara on. So I have to say because of the size of the wand is actually very intimidating to put close to my eyes, but I do like the way that my lashes look with it on, so I think I'm going to be able to look past the huge wand and actually use it because I do like how it looks. So moving on to my face now, and starting off with bronzer, I got this one here, which is the Matte Bronzing Powder for Lighter Skin in 01 Natural. This one says it is a matte bronzing powder for a naturally sun-kissed tan, perfect for lighter skin types. So hopefully this colour will suit me. And it's so cute, it's got like a palm tree on it. Oh, it smells like coconut, that is delicious. And look how huge this pan is, like I don't think you would ever ever run out of this. So I don't know how pigmented this is going to be. I really like that. I think the colour is not too orange and it's not too dark. It's a really good colour for me and I think it's just warmed up my face like a bronzer is supposed to. I can't remember if I said how much the bronzer cost but it cost $7.90. So moving on to the very last product that I have from Essence right now and this is a blush. This is the Matte Touch Blush in the colour number 20 Bury Me Up. And I just thought that since this is a bit of a darker pink, it would be great for me going into autumn and winter right now, rather than the softer pinks and the lighter pinks. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. This one doesn't smell like the bronzer. And this one cost $5.65. So this blush is quite pigmented, but it's not so pigmented that it looks crazy when you put it on. I really like the colour of this blush as well, it's sort of given me quite a natural flushed look. And I don't have a lipstick from Essence, so I'm just going to go and apply a random one now. So I am really, really impressed with the quality of all of the products that I tried from Essence today, especially for the price as well. There was nothing there that was more than $8, which is insane. I feel like they do a lot of matte products which are marketed more towards people with oily skin types, but if you do have normal to dry skin, don't let this put you off because I have normal to dry skin and nothing that I used today made my skin feel dry or uncomfortable. Everything that I used today blended super easily, the foundation, the eyeshadow, the bronzer and the blush, nothing was difficult for me to use. The last thing that I just want to point out really quickly is these eyeliners on the back of my hand. If I rub them really, really hard. Nothing. No smudging at all. There's nothing on my fingers. They're literally just... They're just staying put. Isn't that amazing? So the colours are gorgeous, the quality is there, and I definitely recommend checking out Essence products if you haven't already. So that is the end of my haul slash first impressions video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. 
And if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe. I upload twice a week at the moment on Mondays and Thursdays. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!